Hi, I'm Jean-Pierre Talbot, SC for SonicWall in Canada, and today I'm trying to kill a outdoor access point. Before that, we'll briefly go through the datasheet of the access point so we know what we are dealing with. Next, I will unbox the access point and assemble all the parts because there is a fair amount of mounting hardware that comes with the antenna. And then I will mount it on my car, we'll do some range testing, and then it's a outdoor access point, so we will torture it with the different elements we have out there, light, way, light rain, heavy rain, tornado, hurricane type of water and wind, um, then I will uh, put it underwater. Why not? It's IP67, so let's give it a try. And uh, also we'll do the Hell Bucket Challenge, and I'll put it into the freezer. Let's see what happened with it. If that's the type of video you like, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on upcoming videos. So let's move to the specs. So here we have a 802AC Wave 2 Wi-Fi antenna. So that's just the step before Wi-Fi 6. Sonic Wall at the moment I'm filming this in October 2022 as plenty of indoor Wi-Fi that are Wi-Fi 6, but the outdoor one is not Wi-Fi 6 yet. And to be honest, I don't think it's much of a big deal because usually if you have outdoor, it's most likely for convenience, like you have a camping or an hotel or whatever it is, and you want a guest Wi-Fi outside. And most of the devices that people have, like iPhone, Android phone, are most likely not Wi-Fi 6. So the, the Wi-Fi 6 AP is go not gonna do Wi-Fi 6 stuff. So it is uh, just a step before 802.11ac Wave 2. The great thing about Wave 2 is the fact that it's a MU, MIMO, MU, MU stands for multi-user, that's the big key part. The MIMO is multi-input, multi-output. So you will see some AP that will just show MIMO, and that's usually a single-user MIMO. The MU at the beginning is crucial. It's multi-user. So that means multiple device can talk at the same time. So that antenna, that uh, access point has two radio, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. And each radio has four antenna. So in theory, you could have eight devices all talking at the same time. Four will be on 2.4, talking to one antenna all at the same time. And four will also be on 5 gigahertz and 4 will be talking at the same time on each antenna. So that is a key part of 802.11ac Wave 2 that Wi-Fi 6 also has. And some other item you see here is also uh, what type of PoE that you need and the maximum power consumption, consumption that this AP will have. Also, you have what type of antenna connector, right? If you remove one antenna because you don't want to use the one that comes with it, you want to connect something else. Sonic Wall has two different models of antenna. You could use third party. So you have in the data sheet what type of uh, connector is this thing. And also you have the te operating temperature, temperature range going from minus 40 up to 60 Celsius. So it is really something design, designed to go outside. So next, let's move on to box opening and also assembling the access point because, well, of course you have eight antennas to screws, but there is a fair amount of mounting hardware that comes with it. Okay, so now box opening of the 432004 outside. So see here, you will see it is pretty heavy. If you drop it, it's pretty heavy and noisy. There is no cheap plastics in there. So first start with some literature. Store them appropriately. Packaging. And look at that. Let's open it up. Beautiful access point. Here we have a port. If you open it, unscrew it for a long time because it's designed to be waterproof. Unscrew, keep unscrewing, and you have a console port. Make sure you screw it back appropriately so water doesn't get in. In here we have two ports, so inbound port where you would usually connect the access point. So plenty of little things to keep the thing sealed, so make sure you don't lose those things. We'll figure it out later how that works. So let's put that aside and continue with everything we have. Wow, there is a lot of stuff in there. So we got those eight antennas. 
a ground cable because it's designed to go outside. So professional installation required. I would assume electrician would be someone that could make sure the ground is right. Console cable, mounting hardware, mounting hardware, more mounting hardware. And yep, you're right. More mounting hardware and an angle if you want to put it at a certain angle. And that's it. No, that's not it. More mounting hardware. So we have DAP. It's eight antennas. Ton of mounting hardware. Ground cable. Mounting hardware. Hardware. Screws. More screws and console cable. That's some serious stuff. Okay, now we, uh, we, now we have everything, so let's assemble all of this. So take the first antenna out of its little plastic bag. Please note here, see, that one is labeled as 2.4 gigahertz. And if you look at the access point, each one are also labeled 2.4 or 5. So make sure you match 2.4 with 2.4 and 5 with 5. So that's a antenna label 2.4, so let's connect it to a 2.4 connector on the AP. And repeat the cycle with every single antennas. And this is our access point with its 8 antennas perfectly mounted. Next step is to assemble all of that mounting hardware. So we'll start with that big flat plate. Take it out of its wrap. and then take the four little screws that came with it and simply screw that plate in place. So we have all four screws installed. Next, moving on to another mounting hardware parts, which is this one. So that goes here and that will eventually go there. Now take those four little bolts you add, and of course they just go right in there. And then screw that other part that will be in touch with a post or something you have outside to actually physically attach the access point to it. And then the post will go like, like here, right? My arm would be like the post, like this. And last part that we have, last little mounting hardware is that round thingy that is actually, that will actually be used to tighten um, the access point on a post that you have outside. Of course, the post is not included in the box. You have to provide a post to attach all this. Every time I'm using a flat screwdriver, I'm wondering who invented that thing. It's so useless, it keeps going out. Ouch! Stupid flat head screwdrivers. But you know, you can probably use a 10 millimeter socket. That would probably do the work better. And instead of using the flat head screwdriver, I hate so much. So let's say my arm is the post, right? So that would be like this. Man, it's heavy and that hurts. Here we go, mounted on my arm. Of course, don't do that. That hurts. I'm stuck. Ah! And now moving on to range testing. So what I did here, I mounted the access point on my bike rack, which of course I attached to the car. That kind of looked like a uh, DeLorean, but uh, that's kind of cool, I guess. The cop never stopped me on the way. I have passed next to a cop and he just let me go. So I guess it's fairly legal to drive with such a thing on your car. Um, then I went next to the highway, so sorry it's going to be noisy, but I picked that spot because there are some, uh, there's a cornfield and there are uh, what seems to be like farmer entrance uh, every roughly 100 meters. So what I will do, I will test every 100 meters. I'll do a speed test on 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz and report the speed I got and move on 100 meters away until I lose signal on 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. So let's see if that DeLorean can hit 88 miles per hour. Okay, we are here where we... I will do the test. I did not hit 88 miles per hour, but I did hit 88 kilometers per hour. And well, it's still alive. So, goal is to go as far as I can that way. And uh, 
We'll see how it goes. So let's hop on a bike and do some speed test. Okay, so here we are, 175 meters away, roughly. Car is there. And let's do some speed test. So now we are on 2.4 gigahertz, and let's do a speed test. And of course, that's the beauty of LTE connection. They are not super stable and flaky, but we still get 33 down and 18, 19, 20, 21. I think that'll be it. 21. So 30, 33 and 21. Up. Now let's move on to 5 gig. Okay, it goes. Okay, so we get 25, yeah, almost 26. 17, 18, yep, and I guess it's going to be about the same for upload. So, let's move on to the next stop which is slightly more than 100 meters away so that will be a total of 300 okay now we have about 300 meters away which is about this whatever you can see here okay now we are on 5 gig and let's do a speed test again Much better. 50 down. And 18 up. Now let's try on 2.4. And it go. And seventeen up. So let's go four hundred meters. So 400 meters, that far, and we are on 2.4, let's do speed test. get about the same result a bit faster much faster i would assume there's some different environmental condition around or something that i'm not aware of that could impact performance but uh again not a scientific test here just poking around so 25 down and seems like almost 10 up and that was on 2.4 Let's try 5 gig. And speed test again. Good enough. Still getting close to 50, 45, 46, 47, 48.
Is that going well? 50 down and almost 20 up. So that's 400 meters. Let's go 500. That is 500 meters. 500 is about that far, whatever. If you can see something, honestly. Uh, okay, we're on 5 gig. And let's do a speed test again. Still going very strong. In the 50, 51. And 20, so 53 down, 22 up. Now let's try 2.4. Seems like 500 is an issue or kind of the limit for 2.4. We'll see. So almost five down. Twelve, almost twelve up. Okay. Let's keep going. Now we're at five. Let's go six. So 600 meters there. <clears throat> we are on five. Funny, we were on 2.4 before, so I suspect we may have lost it. So let's try, let's test five now. Let's test this out. Still very strong. 30 mag, 31. 32, 31, yeah, that's about it, 30. So we used to be in the 50, we're down at 30, so we start to see some effect of the distance. We are at 600 meters again. And 22 up. So let's try to see if we can get 2.4 to connect here, but I don't see the SSID. Let's turn Wi-Fi off and on again. Nope, that was the end of 2.4. So I'm at 600 meters, so didn't work for 2.4. So let's say 500 meters was the max for 2.4, but five is still going decently. So let's go to 700 meters now. It's getting to be pretty far. I mean, that's, that's impressive, right? 700 meters do you see the car well i barely see it on my side so we still see the five we're still connected let's speed test this wow okay we lost some but still that's about 20 meg down 21 22 that's impressive. We're back at 30 almost. That was 29 down. 14, 15, 16. That will be it. So 29 down, 16, maybe 17 up. Okay. Let's go. I'm losing the count here. 800 meters now. Let's go. Here we are 800 meters away. And let's do is I'm disconnected. Let's see. Please reconnect. You can do it. 
still shows 5G on top. And I have Wi-Fi is here. Ah, it's dead. Stop. Sounds like 800 is pretty much the limit. Come on. If I go higher? I don't know if that will work. I'm connected. Okay. Speed test. Go. Well, I just need to, I guess next I'll have to stand on top of my bike. So we got 30 down at 800 meters. 29 down and... Five, six. That was 29 down, six with the phone high up in the air. Let's see uh, how high I'll need to climb to get to 900 meters. Nine hundred meters that far. Okay, as expected, I'm not connected. Let's put the phone way way up there. Doesn't look good. Nope. Oh, it's there. Ha. Okay. I'm on. Go, speed test. Ah, it's dead. Okay. Come back, please. Whoa, Sonic Wall 2.4 is back. Well, I guess if I put my hand way up there, it's back as well. So let's test five. Oh, it disconnected. Come on, connect on Wi-Fi. You can do it. We're on. We're off. Things that's pretty much the limit. I mean, no one's gonna watch Netflix with their hand like this. I am on Wi-Fi. Let's see if it can hold enough for a speed test. <laughs> okay, I think that's it. It just doesn't work. Okay, the limit was pretty much 800. I mean, I had to put my phone way up there, and of course, something smart to do would put was to would be to put the access point way up uh, higher than it is right now because it's like six, seven feet from the ground. So of course, if you put it 10, 20, 30 feet up, it will probably work better. Um, but you know, it gives you a good idea. So let's uh, head back to the car. That's pretty impressive and keep in mind, I did the test with a iPhone 12 mini. So you know the phone has its Wi-Fi antenna and the smaller the phone, the smaller the antenna, which means the less reception or coverage or signal you get. Laptops usually have their antenna in the screen, which provide you a decent size antenna. So that was probably one of the worst device I could use to do that speed test, but still managed to get 500 meters on 2.4 gigahertz and 800 meters on 5 gigahertz. And now let's move on to the part I had the most fun with, which was pretty much torture tests or weather resistant test. So if, the, if it's the first video you see from me, you might be like, Who's that idiot? So uh, let's look into all those torture tests. Okay, next test. We're back home now. And um, those things are designed to sustain rain. So we know we tested wind hitting 88 kilometers an hour. We've tested the range and next is test rain. So here we have something that came with it is a ground cable so you need to get a professional installer to professionally install it and properly ground the thing but uh, I didn't add any nearby so I um, decided to pretend to be that professional installer so don't ever do that so here I will ground it so 
So that should do. And let's take the other end and uh, ground it. Here we go. That's grounded. So ground should be all right. So next, let's do a rain test on this. Just to make sure we confirm it is actually on. So, <clears throat> well, it's cloudy, but not raining. So uh, let's create some rain. Like this bottom, because yeah, sometimes rain comes from bottom, from the top. That should be all right. Ah, hey. Okay, let's ensure I'm connected on it. Sonic Wall 5. So that's the 5 gigahertz. And let's do a speed test. It works. So they can sustain rain. So let's try to get a bit more rain now. That's like more rain. And see, it's still turned on. Yeah, should be enough. See, it's just plenty of water so let's see if oh good sign I'm still on Wi-Fi and speed test oh I forgot to show you I'm still connected on the Wi-Fi we'll do a speed test and then I'll show you on which Wi-Fi I am got plenty of speed oh okay, that's good good enough and I'm still on Sonic Wall 5 so let's uh let's get worst weather because we got good and rain pretty direct rain and let's get the uh, hurricane type of rain yeah let's do that okay so i got my uh, homemade hurricane ready here it is so let's turn it on and let's see how that goes More of this. And just so we're clear, it's still on, right? It's a fair test for an hurricane and I'm still on the Sonic Wall Wi-Fi. Let's do a speed test. Yes, I know my speed test was successful. Let's do another one. It was a slow start, but still works. Yep, still about the same download, so survive wind, survive light rain, medium rain, hurricane. Uh, what else can we do? Let me think about it. I thought about another challenge. After the ice bucket challenge, we have the hell bucket challenge. So we'll test Hell on the access point, just like you have into rude weather. So let's give this a try. That's some severe hell right there. So let's mix this with a bit of water.
Okay, so... That's a fair test, right? Hell bucket challenge. Okay, so I got the car in place. Just gonna show you the AP is still functioning. I got the hell bucket challenge. I'll put you guys there. And now let's see if I still have a functioning AP. Seems to be working. And we still have about the same speed, maybe, maybe a little more. Seems to work better with ice. Just kidding, maybe I just moved the car a bit, got better LTE coverage. But still, the, it passed the hell bucket challenge. I thought about another test. The AP is rated IP67. I'm not sure by heart, I'll put it in the bottom of the screen, but I believe it's like one under one meter of water for 30 minutes or something like this. To be honest, I don't see anyone in his right mind putting an access point underwater. So let's do it. So, AP is here. I still have my totally wrong ground, ground but it's in there, grounded. Should work, right? Don't ever do that. Get professional to install it right. I'm just having fun here. And then we have the LT internet power injector the ups to drive the thing so let's see if that goes under water and i'll show you here see it is working we have the small leds here and now uh, let's take it down in the water and it is completely underwater and now let's See if it works. Hmm. Still working. It's not dead. Oh. Wi-Fi is back, so I suspect that water may affect how Wi-Fi waves go, because Wi-Fi is there, I see it, I'm now connected to it, it connects right away, but when it was in the water, it didn't work, so let's try again, oh, you went, yeah, let's try again, let's put the thing underwater again, Oh, you know what? Let's restart the speed test, then put it into the water. Okay, let's stop that, stop. Okay, start the speed test. Oh, it works. Oh, see that? It just go down, 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 down. Oh, a little bit. Uh, I'd switch on 5G here. Okay. And of course, I get good upload on 5G. Let's stop that. It still works. I got the lights. So, if you guys were wondering, does Wi Fi work underwater? Well, I'm not a scientific, as you can see by my ground i'm not a scientific but i believe wi-fi does not work under water the ap survive but wi-fi waves just don't propagate at all i think well we tried three four times and it just stopped all the time so the ap is alive still working all leds are there i've done speed tests in out of water every time and it works you know what it might be the only time in my life that I get to do this. So let's do it again. See, it's still alive. That's so fun. So I found another test to do. Spray water, 
on the access point in the freezer and repeat the cycle at least a good 20 times. Make sure that we get a big layer of ice on the AP. That sounds like a legit test, right? Ha. Okay, so here is the access point after six days in my freezer. I tried to get a big thick layer of ice on it, but I realized that modern freezer have anti-icing freezing stuff, so you don't end up with a thick wall of ice on your freezer. So that prevented me from having a lot of ice, but as you can see, there is still some ice and see here. You know, that's a fair amount of ice. So let's pour it on and see what happened. Got that here. So we'll see if lights come on and actually it went as you can see, it was straight going in the pool. Minutes later, I did throw it in the freezer. I think it's dead. I think I killed it. It's alive! I found the issue, look at that. So it is still full of ice here, as you can see, hopefully. And the issue is I spent, I think three days spraying two bottle worth of water on the access point. But the access point was in the freezer, of course, with its cable. And that cable here was just not connected to the PoE injector. The cable connector was in the freezer as well. So I guess water went through it. I just heated up the connector, put it back in the PoE injector and the AP boot up right away. So I think I saved it. Simple issue of adding ice on the RG45 connector. And now the AP is booted up, so let's see what kind of throughput we can get and first see if I'm able to connect to it. So, Wi-Fi, what do we see? Right on, we see Sonic Wall 24 and Sonic Wall 5 just came in. Let's try 5, because I prefer 5. And I am connected. Let's see, speed test that I get. And I'm still using that dongle LTE 10 just to make everything about the same right and we do see about the same throughput that I usually get about 20 to 30 meg it slows down a bit and 23 almost 24 and about the same worth of upload I think that conclude all the stupid things I can do as torture test of that access point we did some pretty good win uh, having it in mounted on my car while I'm doing 88 kilometers an hour, not miles per hour, because my old car cannot really get there and uh, police enforcement wouldn't agree much with such high speed. Uh, then light rain worked, um, heavy rain was working as well, hurricane tornado type of crazy amount of water also worked. Uh, we did the hell bucket challenge, it survived, uh, throw it in the pool. Why not, right? And we realize that Wi-Fi signal, electromagnetic magnetic wave, that doesn't work going from water to the air. So I think we cleared that. Not an access point issue, just I believe an issue that Wi-Fi signal does not go through water very well. Um, then we put it into the freezer with a nice thick layer of ice on it. Not enough, not as much as I would like to, but you know, decent enough. Uh, to be honest, I don't really know what else I can throw at it. Um, so I think that concludes that torture test. Thanks for watching.